As-salamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi you spoke of uh, relationships yesterday what yes. is this concept of twin flame, soulmates, or soul contracts? Does such a thing exist? Yeah, everything exists. That the relationships and realities of the soul that that Allah has destined, and the importance for everything is good character. Because even if somebody were to meet what they think is a soulmate, if, if they allow shaitan he would destroy that. So again, you know just the… all these different concepts, yes it's, it's nice to ask about but the footwork is the important. Because the footwork is to understand shaitan is to break the system. Break it through argument, argument, argument until Sayyidina Khidr told Nabi Musa salam, this is where me and you part because it started with a magnetism because this is a Muhammadan heart and Nabi Musa salam, was given a charge from Allah to seek a Muhammadan haqqaiq. But then what happened? There's too much argument. That connection and magnetism Allah changed the polarity. So when the polarity changes you repel one each other, you're no longer attracted, you're no longer heart is coming. Anything you argue with and, and begin to dispute and fight with the polarity changes and that's all the job of shaitan is to keep hitting the magnet, keep hitting the magnet until the polarity changes. So if we give ourselves to shaitan then all the magnets in our life will flip. Most important are the children. If you bother them and agitate them, aggravate them, instead of their magnet coming to you you're actually working for shaitan to repel the charge and they are repelled by you. And you do it hard enough and they don't even want to come around you. These are the works of shaitan. And in As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh You see in the prescription from Prophet about the character. So the Muhammadan character was immensely loving and soft and generous and kind. So this becomes the reality of juzbah. So people who want to force a change upon people in any position, if they have a management position and they think that they're going to force by tongue, no what are you doing? It's, this is nothing to do with tongue, this is all about juzbah. Means that you with your loving nature, kind nature, softing, soft nature people will be attracted to you with their magnets. Especially if you represent the shaykh because their magnet field can sense your good character and they move towards your direction. But there's nothing harsh by the tongue and by action because then their magnet repels and begins to move away. It's the most essential understanding in everything that being taught. When you learn it with the tariqah then you understand, look at the tariqah, 
you have thousands of students with all different backgrounds, all different nationalities but yet how is the magnet strong enough to bring them in? Well not by yelling and screaming at people, by ha having this attitude of love and teaching about the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's all the khuluq, it's not the mind of teaching people and yelling at them everything you're doing is wrong and I know better than you, but teach through love and compassion. Once we learn the tariqah system because people were supposed to be raised in the tariqah like our young men, by the time they enter into their families they should have had the same rules in their homes. Be soft, be kind, be compromising. Keep the love of Prophet the love of the shaykh in the home and let them only hear goodness in the home of the tariqah, the way and the love of Prophet the family will be attracted to you. And as a result now that magnetism is strong, that is the madad within the house. And now everything upside down, they even go home they want to talk bad about the shaykh in front of their children. They want to argue about this and argue about that. You've literally destroyed every magnet into the heavens and now your children will be magnetized towards shaitan because you repelled the Divine magnet, it disconnected. Well you don't think the disconnected magnets are just sort of floating uh, aimlessly in the world, shaitan has a big magnet waiting for everybody. But they come back and say, now I want to wear a dress, now I want to do this, now I want to do that. Now I want to smoke this, now I want to try this. Well because you lost the magnet from your heart and by all the things that you say and do, so what happened now? Shaitan's magnets are really strong, he's like waiting outside the walls until he can <coughs> lock their hearts and you see them going in droves in different directions. So magnetism is essential in our belief and our understanding, it's the very pull that we have to Sayyidina Muhammad Every good deed, every sadaqah, every action, every zakat, every food we give makes the magnet to the heart of Prophet stronger. Why? Because he's pleased with the nation that does good in his nation that continuously doing good and with good manners and good character they have an immensely strong bond based on love, based on the hadith of what? <laughs> you be with whom you love. <coughs> if you love the most important creation that Allah has created, what type of power you have? What type of love you have? What type of barakah and blessings you have? Just by virtue of that love. Now that can't be understood, that's mushkil kusha and anyone knows that when they have that type of proximity with the shaykh anything they ask the shaykh is praying for it. But the shaykh doesn't know who you are, all the things you ask is, okay it's nice for you but you, you didn't do anything to get recognized, you didn't uh, support anything. But those who have that proximity they sleep assured that they have that proximity. Imagine now that proximity with Prophet they live, eat, drink and breathe that reality. This is the whole safety of their life and their communities are based on that. So magnetism is everything, one who knows it alhamdulillah lives by it, one who doesn't know it seems to be breaking all their ties. <laughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Sayyidi, so what can we do to come out of a state of repulsion if shaitan is successful in hitting us? Only Allah can change that, Alif Bayna Qulubihim. Allah, Allah can bring that which is repelling to bring back and that by du'a, by salawat, by zakat, by doing good deeds if it's allowed. If it's not allowed then it's finished, 
the chance opportunity has left. That's why everything is, is something to be careful for. So our life is, is governed by that. So that we do good, we do good, we do good. If in our lives we did things and the children repelled, immediately build your bond with the shaykh and with Prophet because you better be connected to a very powerful magnet to repair the damage of what you've done or what shaitan has hijacked. So do you understand the magnetism explains itself. So they repelled now, shaitan has grabbed them with a very strong magnet, how am I going to pull them back? What charge do I have? So I don't. So why don't I seek out those whom have a very strong magnetism and that's the tariqahs. So then I build my relationship with the shaykh, make sure that my name is always in front of the shaykh and we said not, not by emailing all, all sorts of comments of, I love you, I love you, I love you, it doesn't mean anything. But to do a khidmat, to serve, to be in the organization, to, to write articles, do this, do that. People know how to serve where we say, and everything, make your videos, send the videos, send them. And we see names, our community knows certain names, they see everywhere. Doing food, doing this, doing that, why? Because when they're under the nazar of the shaykh, the shaykh is presenting these actions to Prophet and all his shaykhs. And all these nazar and all these eyes are on these activities. And as they build that connection and build their own magnet back in which they have a very strong connection with the shaykh, strong connection with Prophet Then imagine what happens, with the power of that magnet everything starts to pull back and draw itself back to that reality. So this is the only, only way to pull back and to capture what shaitan has stolen. InshaAllah, <coughs> if there's anyone who can do it, it's Prophet Now we have to spend the effort and the time to build that inshaAllah <coughs> by good deeds and good actions inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Sayyidi, so if all food is fake, should we eat organic food? Organic is more fake, yeah. We said before that they, they have in these stores, <coughs> they said, these apples are organic. And you read, okay, yeah, because they, they raise them with grey water and then go research <laughs> what's grey water. So we take from the toilets and we don't want to waste anything. We take out solid matter and we throw this water back onto the trees so that not to need this and not to need that. So much of the organic is also all sorts of manipulations and things that, that can be harmful. The only thing that saves us, some people like to pay more for things and they feel better paying more than alhamdulillah. But the only thing that saves us is du'a, is they prey upon the foods. Pray upon anything you eat and drink. And the prayer from Naqshbandiya ila sharaf al Nabi kiram, the ila sharaf al Nabi dua that names Prophet his holy companions, his Ahlul Bayt, and the names of our shaykhs. That based on this blessing, Ya Rabbi, anything wrong with the power of your angels, make it to be blessed, make it to be right. And those angels, that dua can make everything to be luminous. Even beyond having bad, Allah can make it to be a shifa and a healing just by the du'a. Because the angels are pure, they don't have an ego and they say, Ameen. So everything has to be du'a upon it so that to be safe from difficulty, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa See, what happens when a shaykh leaves this physical world? How do servants, students connect with the shaykh who is not living anymore and we get over the sadness? Yeah, it's through the connection that they taught a connection 
those who eagerly learn how to be connected, they make the connection. If they're able to connect with the shaykh while he's living, imagine the power they have when he passes. Because the restraints of the physical world, they hold upon a person. When they park their physicality and Allah gives them the full reality of their soul, much more powerful. So our life was to make the connection and take the time that you have, build the connection, build the connection for a day that uh, things may go offline. So there won't always be an opportunity just sit and do zikr and watch and ask questions and these things have to be, connections have to be made for a day of difficulty. We said, have the books. So, but I can read the articles online but there may be a day where there is no online. When they want to control information and they want to control the thoughts and minds of people where they're going to cut off the power and say, we don't know what happened, maybe somebody cut a wire somewhere. Then people are stuck with what they have. So we don't have to only worry about death but we have to worry about something in the very near future. Anyone goes offline, did, do you have these things as printed materials and did you make your connection and uh, understand what you're supposed to do through difficulty inshaAllah. Have your ta'weez, have your understandings, everything. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As salaam wa rahmatullah. How can we balance having juzbah and not being overwhelmed by people's negativity? Well, you have to get the energy book and the meditation book that once you take the practices of energy, you have to be vigilant of where you are and who you are and where you're going. Because energy people and they do energy work, they don't take themselves everywhere without a precaution. So that has to be very basic and it's almost sort of obvious. You build yourself, build yourself all night like doing zikr, zikr and then go to the mall, okay. But then you're going to get zapped because they're going to drain your energy. And if you do go you have to keep in wudu and if you do go try to keep your eyesight down because people want to pull from your eyes and energy. So these are all the energy practices that people learn and they understand how to do their practices and where to go, not to go. And every association, is it a up or down? Is it a positive or less positive? If in my life I try to go to more positive associations than more negative associations, then I can balance my energy. Because if I'm at a hundred charge and I keep going to places where they're at a five charge, well they're gonna pull 95 of my charges. Because I keep going around to places and people whom their charge is very negative. And just the flow of energy will go to negative people because they're pulling it. They don't even have to know how to pull it, they just pull the charge of positive people. So then you say, okay no I'm going to go to association of very powerful positive people so that I can fill up my battery very strong. And this is the, the systems of tariqah to be vigilant, be vigilant, where are you going? Just don't go everywhere if it's, you know, just because it's a free sandwich but to understand you're going to get pulled, your energy is going to get pulled. You go back home feeling depressed but it was not from you, you go back home feeling heavy it was not from you. It was from these associations and the burdens of people that they throw upon people. So we live our life to be vigilant and where Allah wants us to go we go and where it's not necessary to go be a little bit more cautious inshaAllah. <laughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi Facebook keeps asking me if I want to see less of your posts. Is this a direct attack? It only shows up on your posts. Yeah this is what I said, it shows up on my post too. When I'm watching my own feed <laughs> it says, do you want to see less of him? And it's my video. <laughs> yeah, this, this shows how their algorithm is, is trying to stop us and uh, propagate, shaitan's angry, this, this is, he owns these things and he's trying to outright stop it. And the, the way that we come against that 
is by 500 people making accounts and posting the videos because they can't determine which one is the account that they want to stop. So that's the important part. When it's just no John, no John videos, they say, okay why don't we just slow down no John his account and then the videos won't go out. But if 500 accounts that are all sending these videos out, not with our name because that they're targeting that name, then they don't know where these videos are coming from. And that's important to counter their algorithm. So we have now on, on TikTok maybe two, three hundred page with nine million views on hashtag Shaykh No Jami Rahmadi. So means the guys have been making these channels and these accounts, they use the same hashtag that we asked them to use and that hashtag has nine million views. So that's the whole purpose. So it's not just one account, one page but 500 guys making pages and accounts and promoting the videos so that to come against their algorithm and propagate. And that's why I said the newest style of video that gets people attention is not, I'm talking because they say, oh I don't want to hear, but somebody else saying, have you heard this guy? Have you heard that? Listen, listen, listen. And the people are listening thinking, oh well what is this guy talking about, must, must be something significant. So that system, the guy said, let's try that one. And we said, okay let's see if our guys can make a video. They shouldn't look Naqshbandi, they should just look you know, what, what's this guy talking about, <laughs> inshaAllah. But mashallah our people very active, the, the alhamdulillah the khidmat very strong, our people's khidmat very strong mashaAllah Allah is great. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah. Sayyidi does zulumat speed up the process of illumination and knowledges for a seeker? Well that's what we started off tonight with, that how can you be a star on a dark night if it's not a dark night, you be star in the sunshine, nobody cares because the sunshine is, is, the, is overwhelming everyone, right? So it's the very zulamat that Allah has destined for these stars to show themselves. They have not yet showed themselves and their capabilities. So it means as darkness is coming and shaitan think, oh, 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 oh make everybody dark. <laughs> He's also giving the permission and the awakening of these najm and the stars to start coming out. So it's a, it's a glad tidings, don't, don't think that the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is left alone and that people with the things from dunya give them authority. Authority is from the heavens and the Allah's authority and might is something that cannot be understood and uh, can't be understood. So, uh, As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Say these one of these countries was just hit with its fourth major earthquake 20 minutes ago. Mm. Is this a sign for what's to come? This is the beginning of the signs. We said before, <clears throat> there's two teams. One is Dajjal, and he wants to hit all. the areas where the Muslim nations are. <coughs> As a result of his zulamat upon them with manipulation of weather and earth and everything imaginable, Allah's punishment comes to the other side. So if they're living on the side that Dajjal is hitting, they have to ask Allah for protection from oppression. And all the du'as and the ta'weezes that, Ya Rabbi protect us from the oppression of the shaitan. And this was the ayat al kareem of Sayyidina Mahdi salam, Yusibana 951, Surah Tawbah 951. 
<coughs> that nothing shall befall those who believe in Allah that whatever is written for them only comes. So with their knowledges and understanding and where they are located then they have to ask Allah protection from oppression because Dajjal is targeting them. Those whom are living in areas where Allah's qadab is coming then be under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad to be safe because Allah's promise, how can I punish them while well, they're making istighfar and that you are present with them. So what is the medicine they're telling people? Make istighfar and salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Why? So that His holy presence be with you while you're making tawbah so that Allah's ghadab and anger to not come to you, your family and your homes inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah So how do we remove ignorance of ourselves and become aware of who we've become? Is it a philosophy question? Get the meditation book please. <laughs> we will tell you who you are. You have to get the meditation book and understand that I'm nothing. I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. To be a nukht. When you're a nukht, you don't want anything. You don't ask for anything because you said you're nothing. Make your salawat, make your durood, do your khidmat, and nothing can enter into oceans of everything. But something stays away from everything. So our life was to be nothing, 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 it's not easy. So that's the path, be nothing, be nothing, do the practices, do the services, do your salawat, meditate in your state of nothingness. When you make your muraqabah then the one can dress a nukht. But a person whom thinks they're one, they can't get dressed by a one because they think they're the one. But you have to be no one. That's the problem why people don't feel anything because they still think they're someone. So the life is to be, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. In my nothingness when I meditate I begin to feel the fires and the energies. But that state is difficult to achieve for many people. Some people just alhamdulillah give it them nat naturally to be humble and to negate themselves, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah uh, If we enter Taseen is that when fana occurs? Fana? The reality of Taseen, Tilka Ayatul Qur'an is a name of this heart of Prophet that this flame and its realities is being described. Fana is a state in the meditation in which you have the love of the shaykh, you keep the hudur and the presence. And when you're meditating and keeping the presence you annihilate yourself to be nothing <coughs> no, okay, I have to be done to get it. In the state of being nothing, what happens? Then they can enter into the fana of the shaykh. But these are different one is a haqqaiq and one is a meditation practice. In the state of fana, you became nothing, means the dress of the shaykh is dressing. So those are the haqqaiqs and the realities, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun ala mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alaam wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.